All right, welcome again to the Hercules Tire Sunbelt Basketball Championship. When asking a question, please remember to identify yourself and your media affiliation for those joining us on Zoom. Please remain on mute and type your questions into the chat and I'll ask them here on site. Um, we're joined now by Arkansas State and head coach Destiny Rogers. Coach, would you give us an opening statement and introduce your two players here? Oh, well, first of all, I wanna say that I'm really proud uh, of the fight that my team has showed this year. Um, Obviously, they've been through a lot. You know, we lost our head coach in December. Uh, we battled injuries, uh, had a couple kids leave the team. And with our numbers dwindling, you know, we were in every game. I think this is the, maybe the second game since I took over that we lost double digits. Every single game we had a shot in. I thought we had a shot tonight. You know, even down the stretch, we were, we were making a run. Uh, but my team never gave up this year. Uh, I'm super appreciative and super thankful that, you know, I had the opportunity to, to coach this group. I think this group is a special group, and uh, we're going to be special going forward. Um, I just got to say, you know, uh, for the most part, I hated the most for Morgan Wallace. You know, she's been the heart and soul of our team since I've gotten here. And uh, she has absolutely nothing to hold her head, hang her head about. Head about. Um, you know, she she's put her heart into every single game. She's fought every single game. We've asked her to play 40 minutes uh, most times, and, and she did whatever we asked her to do. Uh, so, you know, we're proud of the career that Morgan has had, and uh, no doubt in my mind that she's going to go out in the world and, and do amazing things, you know. And, you know, she may want to be a coach, and I'm just telling you now, she's going to be an amazing coach, high IQ kid, and uh, just super excited to see what she does. Uh, Jaira, Ash, you know, obviously a really special player, 30 points tonight. Uh, to go along with 13 rebounds, that's huge for a guard. You know, Jaira is a great player. I've been saying that since I first got here. Uh, I think that Jaira is an all-conference player, although she didn't get that this year. She is all a conference player. She proved that tonight. And uh, this last three games, she's definitely put the team on her back and uh, tried to carry us to a win. Uh, tonight, Coastal just played the better game. You know, they hit shots that – you know, typically they don't make and they, they came ready to roll and their best player, uh, she showed up and she showed out, you know, so credit to them uh, for the game plan. Our shots weren't falling, uh, but then at the end of the day, even though they weren't falling, we did fight. And so, I, you know, I am proud of this team. All right, we'll open up now for questions. Jason Collins, RWRC Radio. Um, Coach Asia, talk about that performance from her. What did you guys see? I mean, did you see something like that? I mean, what was so difficult about we obviously knew that she was capable, you know, um, she averages right at 20 a game. Uh, you know, she's, she's demanding presence inside that post. And she's so strong and she does a really good job of posting up, uh, you know, so we tried to double her and uh, even when we doubled her, she still was scoring. Uh, so, you know, I say all the time players make plays. And uh, their player made a lot of plays today. And she she played really good. You know, 14 for 18, you can't ask for a much better game uh, out of your player. Uh, so, obviously, a really special player, very deserving of everything that she's getting. Uh, so, you know, uh, we're moving forward. Hopefully, she can continue to play that way for them. Now, you talked about Mo, you talked about Jara with the group. Um, you know, I know for you, this is always going to be a special group uh, with you getting this first opportunity in, in your coaching career as the head coach. Um, sum up what that has meant to you and what these two and the rest of the squad has meant to you in, in such a special time. For us. Well, you know, I got here uh, that first year and uh, – <clears throat> I got pretty close with these two, you know, as well as TJ. Uh, so I've just, you know, to see the growth of, of these kids, even Maya, to see the growth of these kids, you know, for the three years I've been here, I couldn't be more proud, you know, of the growth that they had. Um, you know, and obviously this team will always be probably one of the most special teams to me because it is a team that – uh that gave me the first opportunity to be a head coach. And, uh, you know, while I hate that it ended this way, uh, I couldn't be more proud of the way that they handle all the adversity, you know, handed to them and just never giving up and never fighting. And they trusted me. They trusted me and they played hard every single game. Uh, so I'll always love this team. I'll never forget this team. Uh, but moving forward, obviously we have a great base and uh, we're going to look to to recruit some more players out of the portal and uh, probably some from JUCO to try to add to what we already have. And uh, I'm just telling you, we're coming. We're coming and we're going to work and we got a lot of things we got to fix, but we're going to fix it. And uh, I feel really good about where we're headed. Coach, uh, Logan Whaley with KAIT. Uh, well, you, you mentioned Maya's performance tonight and uh, you know, I just want to get your thoughts just on how she played, you know, really looked like 
Yeah, you know, we just tell Maya, hey, be aggressive. We know that she's going to do it on defense. Um, and we really wanted her to be aggressive offensively as well. Um, but Maya played a really good game tonight. You know, she's kind of that warrior on the floor that's going to do all the dirty work. You know, she'll dive on the floor for loose ball. She's going to play great defense. Uh, you know, she's just – she's a tough kid. Uh, so, you know, really proud of the way that she played. Um, and I think, you know, moving forward to the future, she could be a really – I mean, she is, but she's going to continue to be a huge asset for us. I absolutely do. You know, I have that confidence in myself. Uh, I know I have the ability and the capability to lead this team. I think that we've proven that um, even with the adversity we've gone through. And when you talk about, you know, wins and losses, you take any team in this conference and you take their you one of their best players away. And then you take another player away, you know, that's really good for you with a shoulder injury. And it's just tough, you know. But the thing is, we, you know, KP goes down and Jairus, same player, basically. So imagine you have both of those on the floor. Um, so, you know, um, people don't realize that it's tough to win when you don't have your full roster. But these kids were in every single game. There were some games that maybe on paper we probably shouldn't have been in. And we had a chance to beat every team that we played. And so I think that we've proven that we can do this. Um, obviously, we do have some work to do. We are young, so we need to add some experience pieces uh, to the puzzle, um, as well as, you know, we were down a coach. You know, we did this short a coach. We did this short players. And I think that we've absolutely proven that we can handle this. And uh, one thing about me that people will get to know is we're, we're going to win. We're going to win, and we're going to have fun, and we're going to be passionate about what we do, and we're going to do things the right way. So, you know, I absolutely believe that I'm the person for this job. <laughs> you ready to go first? You go, you go. Um, I would say this year has been fairly difficult. Um, we started off real strong. We were really hopeful, you know, and we hit adversity like Coach Diz said. We went down a coach, we went down a player, then we were losing players. And so it's been really difficult. But I will say that through all of this, we've trusted each other. We've trusted Coach Diz, this coaching staff. And I mean, I wouldn't want to be a part of any other teams. I just think with the, the players down, the coaches gone, I just think in my perspective, no matter what, we never gave up. We fought hard every game we played. We battled hard each and every game. And I just think moving forward is going to be a great, great, great season. Well, I want to ask you, uh, I've said many of these with seniors, what is, what is this going to be right now? Mm, that's a tough question. Honestly, when I walked off the court, I was like, I'm not going to cry. Like, I'm good. And then when I really, like, when reality set in, I was like, wow, like, this is the last time I'll be able to wear an Arkansas State jersey. Last time I'll get my ankles taped. Last time I'll be sitting in a locker room with my shoes on. And, I mean, it's tough right now. It's kind of numb. I think when I get out of here and get on the bus, it's really going to hit me. But right now, it's yeah, it's kind of numb. But it's going to be tough. Um, you know, I'm grateful for this opportunity. I'm so I'm so, so excited to start my life, but basketball in Arkansas State will be missed. For you, this season, of course, has been tough, but you've been, you've been through a lot in your career. What is maybe the biggest lesson you're going to take from your time as a collegiate athlete <laughs> at Arkansas State that can help you uh, in your professional career? Okay, I thought we were, I was going to say treatment, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, when adversity hits, um, you know, you just got to know how to handle it. Your mind is so powerful. It's so, so powerful. And just if you keep a mindset, a positive mindset throughout everything, you know, it's going to work out how it's supposed to. Yeah, no question. You know what adversity is. You've been through injuries. And I mean, you know, there was a time where there was questions whether or not you could get back to full speed with after your injury. And obviously you dropped 30 tonight, so I think you're okay. But <laughs> let's talk about that and that journey and sitting here now and then looking at these two ladies uh, to the right. Uh, um, honestly, I can say it's been a tough road, you know, like for me having, getting my, my leg re-scoped again, um, trying to battle back, going to treatment and learning about schoolwork and basketball is, is a lot. So I just think like with Coach Dez and all the staff and the, the support I have, I think they just kept me on the right path, you know, like told me not to give up and my team had my back. So I just think Having them around me, giving me positive vibes, the parents, my the supporters, and everything like that. I just think this was best for me. 
utilize it as a training on the coaster as a way to show that you can turn around and run this thing back and go ahead and help us that trophy when it's over. Definitely, 100%. I'll jump in one um, from Zoom right here, Mitchell Gladstone on Zoom. Um, obviously, you guys would rather not be digging out of a hole, but what do you see from the press that was working as you were trying to get back into things? Um, you know, moving forward, uh, you know, <clears throat> that's the way we want to play. You know, we want to be a pressing team. We want to be aggressive. Um, you know, obviously, uh, some things that we can we can tweak, you know, with our defense um, that we will, you know, but when you take over a team and that really hasn't been the identity and you're trying to change it midseason, that's tough to do. Uh, because, you know, I worked for one of the best def defensive coaches I've ever been around in Sandra Russian, and it took us a solid year to really get our team to where we wanted them to be defensively. So, you know, it just takes time. Um, but, you know, that press, it, it really worked for us. Uh, we, we got them to turn the ball over, uh, what was it, 14 times? Was that right? Yep. Am I reading no, it right? 25. Okay, 25. Look, I came my eyes all over the place right now. 25 times, turn the ball over 25 times. The issue was, you know, just sometimes, you know, we didn't capitalize off of it as much as we wanted to. So with, you know, with them turning it over 25, we would have liked to get, you know, somewhere around 30 to 35 points. We only got 20 off of it. Um, but, you know, moving forward, that is how we want to play. We want to play fast. We want to be aggressive. Uh, we want to continue doing things that we do offensively. Uh, but I'm just telling you, we have a special group and uh, we're going to add some special players to it, try to get, get another coach and uh, we'll see what happens, but it's going to be good. Any final questions here, Drew? Coach, uh, with Mo playing her final game under your leadership, what is your best moment as a morning walk? That's a good question. We've had a lot. <laughs> um, I don't know that I can tie a particular moment uh, right now, you know, just with everything that's gone. But the thing that I will never forget is the trust and the fight that Morgan has for her team. I have never coached a player that fights every single second, every single minute, every single game the way Morgan does. And, you know, to have somebody like that on your team is just huge. You know, she was out of practice uh, yesterday, just kind of dealing with a little, just trying to rest her and stuff like that. Um, and we did some defensive possessions and I instantly noticed her not being on the floor. You know, so obviously a tough player to replace. Uh, we're going to try to do the best we can, but I just don't know that you can replace a player like Morgan. Uh, so, you know, the thing that I'll never forget is just the grit, the fight, uh, the resiliency that she has, you know, and, and her displaying that on the court lets you know that she's going to be just fine in the real world. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right, thank, thank you. you.